We wondered if we could, but we never really stopped to ask if we should. This video was sponsored by Sensodyne Nourish. Two common household objects, super glue and baking soda. But when you combine them together, Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> it instantly hardens. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, ooh it's hot. <gasps> Don't touch it. Ooh, it's so hot. But it's fully cured. Ooh, wow. It's it forms, hard. <laughs> it forms a plastic-like substance that reminds us a lot of resin. Yeah. So we thought to ourselves, what can we do? Wow. Stop touching it. <laughs> what can we do with this resin-like substance that cures almost instantly, made with household objects? Dice. We're gonna try making dice. Yeah. Can we do it? I honestly have absolutely no clue. It, it seems like we should though. This look at this. This entire thing, that mound. Ooh, that is solid. This is weird. I'm gonna go for the extreme. You told me not to, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay, let's test on wood first. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. it's an ax. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <gasps> wow! I, you chipped look it. At, look at, look at that, look at that. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? What am I, I, I see your knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> That is solid all the way through. Inside, that is solid. It penetrated. Wow. It's not just a shell of powder underneath. Do an extreme safety squint. You ready? Yeah. Hi, do you have teeth or are you still a baby? If you're not a baby, let me introduce you to Sensodyne, the sponsor of today's video. Sensodyne is the number one dentist recommended brand for those of us with sensitive teeth. I saw a butterfly today and it was beautiful. I spilled milk and my day is ruined. Wah! When used twice a day, the bioactive mineral action, natural mint, and essential oils leave you feeling clean and prevent tooth sensitivity pain. I actually do taste the aloe vera. Right? <laughs> it's good. Even though we've tested a lot of life hacks on this channel, one thing you should never try to hack is your teeth. Your teeth feeling dry and crackly? Just use freshly ground pepper as an exfoliating DIY tooth scrub. Ah! Ah, no! Please, no! Ah! Nine out of 10 supervisors agree that a much better option is Sensodyne. The 10th supervisor was in the cat dimension and could not be reached. Plus, the Sensodyne Nourish tube and carton are both recyclable. Life's too short to deal with sensitive teeth, so try Sensodyne Nourish to get a healthy smile without sensitivity pain. Now back to your regularly scheduled content. Oh yeah, look at that cross section. That is solid all the way through. That's surprising. Wow, how deep can it go? Wait, are, so okay, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Are we gonna jump straight to the small scale test or should we do a little science adjacent segment? Science adjacent with Evan and Caitlin. Yeah. Scientist. Scientist. <laughs> so super glue doesn't actually dry like some other glues or paints. It's a chemical reaction that happens between the cyanoacrylate and the water molecules in the air, AKA humidity. But there are other things that can cause super glue to react even faster like baking soda. So basically the bicarbonate molecules interact with the cyanoacrylate, wow, the, super, words. <laughs> the super glue, um, to create long polymer chains that are stronger and more resilient than when water causes it to cure. Wow. So basically at the end, you have a plastic-like substance with a cement-like consistency that is super durable. Yeah. But will those strong bonds hold up as a die, a dice? Can we put the substance in a mold and will it all cure? Will it stick to the mold? Will it stick to the mold? Will we have to do it in layers? What other questions do we have? Can we sand or polish it? Can we actually throw the dice and have it not break? So many questions. I think the perfect way to answer them is with a few small scale experiments. 
The first test is to determine what type of super glue we should use, because there's various thicknesses and cure time. And in general, the thinner it goes, the faster it cures. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the ideal for us would be really thin. And really slow cure. And really slow. I know. Because I worry, like, we, we, we use the thin for that first test. They're super thin. This already cures in one to three seconds. That means it has to go all the way through all of the baking soda. In one to three seconds. But it's thin, but so it's maybe thin. it can travel faster. Let's try with the extra thick. I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, it's really thick. That's not penetrating at all. No, it's, this, it's like sliding down this, the mountain. You need to like stir it up. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh my. Hmm. Hmm. That didn't work at all. You did a bug? There's a spider. It what didn't. If, no. What if, what if I glue him? <laughs> what if I imprison the spider? Do not imprison the spider. <laughs> okay. Next up, medium. Let's see if this might be the best of all worlds. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's also, also just no. kind of sliding down the side. That's so crazy. I know. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Yeah, but I don't think it's gonna work for something as thick as what we're going not for. Not good for casting. We already know that this thin super glue works. Yeah, even though Let's it's like Let's try this super thin one to three seconds. I'm okay. really excited. Right. Oh yeah. This is either gonna be the best or it's gonna fail in new and interesting ways. Yeah. Ooh, wow. It's thin. Wow. How, how, oh, 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 it's smoking, it's smoking. Oh. It's smoking, it's smoking, it's smoking. Wow, that's a lot of smoke. That's a lot of smoke. Oh, I see it. Now, most of the time when this happens, that's water molecules frying in, in the curing process of the chemical mask. reaction. Is it stinky? Not stinky. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. What? My glove. Oh, I thought you were on fire. Oh. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so super thin also works pretty well. Well, we need to do the um, the slice test to see how it is like on Ooh. the cross section. Ooh. I also wanna do some thermal tests later. Um, do you wanna stop that or no? Is that one still recording? Did you not record? All right, ready to chop? Yes. Oh. Jeez. Oh, oh, no, no, it didn't cure, it didn't, oh, whoa, 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 It whoa. didn't penetrate? Whoa, it didn't penetrate. Whoa. It cured too fast. Look at this. There's a whole underside here. Yeah. And, 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 and I can just tell right here, that thickness right there. Is thinner than our first it's one? It's thinner than the first one. Wow, who knew we would hit it on the first try? Well, we know which one to move forward with. All right. And now I think we can move on to testing out some coloring mix-ins. Or should we do temperature? So we're gonna test our most commonly used resin colorants, which are mica powders and alcohol inks. I have a feeling the mica's gonna work because is powder? Yeah, the <laughs> alcohol, I don't know. Like, I don't even know what that'll like, do to baking will soda. Will it clump? I don't, I don't know. know. Oh yeah, that, that, that's actually more saturated of a color than I thought. But for the final one, we'll, we'll, we'll manually crush all of those little clumps. Now, it's only because like this baking soda is probably like five years old. It's old. <laughs> I hear clumps inside. Does baking soda expire? BC016614. Does course. that mean that it was made in 2014 or expired in 2014? Could be either. <laughs> now, shall we try the alcohol ink? Test? I'm very excited. Hmm. Oh no. It formed little like gel clumps. It, it, it sort of works. I wonder if either of these will have an effect on the super glue. Let's test it out. Yeah. Nice. And then we'll get this one going. Yeah, recording. Okay. Just give it a nice hearty squeeze until it's really saturated. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. It's smoking. Whoa. That didn't happen before with this one. It's sizzling. Whoa, Ooh, did you see whoa, that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. That was weird. It like it, boils. It's, 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 it's a more like 
Uh, maybe we should wear some masks when we're doing it for this large of quantities. Yeah. It definitely has a sharp smell in the air. Yep. It's a oh. sharp, it's a. <clears throat> Woo! <laughs> ah! Okay. Is this one recording? Uh. Oh my gosh, that wasn't recording. You can. We'll just keep going. <laughs> I'm sorry. Need to record here. Yeah, thank you. I also forgot that I set this up. I want to see how hot it gets. That's already at, it's still at 150. Oh dang. Fahrenheit. Wow, that's hot. Oh, there it goes. 200. Oh. Whoa, whoa, 200. Right, that no, one's smoking 200, now, 300. too. Wow. It is. That went up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit in no time at all. Wow. That makes me, should we do the mica one again? Just to see how hot it got? I feel like we need to complete this for science. We gotta complete this for science. Okay, one more time. All right, everything is recording this time. Okay, let's see if we can catch the temperature of the mica. Whoa, whoa, 340. 300. Oh my gosh. Three. Oh whoa, my gosh, it got whoa. up to like 340. Wow. The mica makes it go hotter. You know what we should try, baby? Doing small layers of this instead of a big clump. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alrighty, since we have a whole bunch of these really cheap cube molds, we're gonna be testing it in one of those instead of our really nice dice mold. And it's about the same size as, as these dice turn out, so I think it's a pretty good test. I wonder if the layers will adhere to each other still. Alrighty. Oh, oh now it's kicking. It's kicking now. 265, 266. Yeah, but it didn't go over 300, which is where it like starts going crazy. So there's that. I mean, I guess we'll see if, it, if we can demold it. Yeah, let's keep on going, let's layer. Okay. Final layer. Wow, it's, 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 it's excess on top, so I'm just gonna kind of. Ah, uh, if that's gonna. Oh my I God. dabbed it. I thought I was gonna stick to it. Oh, oh no. Yeah, that was my fear. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know what possessed you to do that. I can sand it off. Did it glue itself to the mold? Oh. Uh, it seems uh. like it's not releasing as easy as resin. It might have also just been like the, the seal I placed upon the top with the paper oh. towel. <laughs> Forming a really good lid. I thought it wouldn't stick to the silicone. Silicone usually like repels everything. You know what we should do, baby? Yeah. What if we used mold release? <laughs> you know, that would probably be a really good idea. You know, I'm just gonna destroy this mold. This mold is just this mold. <clears throat> Did you see that spray? No, I didn't. There's Was a it spray powder? of powder. I'm beginning to think this will be more difficult than we anticipated. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh no, that's a lot of powder. What? Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go at this for a bit. Yeah. This is going so great. Yeah. I think we just have to give up at this point. This was obviously a failure. Yeah. I can keep on scraping away like layers, but this is like, this is insane, man. Wait. This, I think we can conclude right here. Absolute failure. Let's try again, actually using mold release. I agree. Mold release. I already don't have a good feeling about this. Why is that? I think it's just, it gets so hot. And I think it might be literally melting. The silicone. Oh, oh, never mind. Is it popping out? I can't see anything. 
It's going way better than before. It's peeling to some degree. Wow, we, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe this might work. Okay. Okay, separation, yes. Separation. Oh. Get out of there. Okay, there it's going. Okay. It's going. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, interesting look. Look at that corner. Ugh. Hey! Hey, we got a cube, baby! Proof of concept. Yeah. Now. <laughs> now. Does it look nice? No. <laughs> but it can't to each other. The layers adhered to each other. You know what? I think looking at this like little test thing, which one looks the best? Just the baking soda. These got extremely hot and bubbly and what bad. What if we just don't, what if we don't mix in the colorant? Yeah. All right guys, it's been a little bit of a wild ride to get here. We are running low on baking soda and this best super glue. So I think it's about time to take all of the lessons we've learned through all of this experimentation and try the really nice dice mold. We should spray a ton of this mold release everywhere. Yeah. I think we've learned a lot of ways to fail and zero ways to win. Well, I think that if we double down on the one thing that's worked for us so far, this mold release. <laughs> I think that if we double down on this mold release, Take it slow, do small layers, wait for it to cool in between. Use only think, the baking soda and super glue, not yeah, the mix-ins. Yeah. I think that we have a good chance of pulling this off. <clears throat> okay, spray the crap out of it. Massage it. Grease the crannies. Oh yeah, also in between the flaps. <laughs> it sounds so gross. You're supposed to hold it six to eight inches away. <laughs> <laughs> we need it extra greasy. It's our only chance. You know, we don't really have a choice. Alrighty. Just gonna put the cone and start adding some baking soda. This is gonna be a little bit more difficult to see what we're doing. Yeah, like, is that enough? <laughs> did any make it in? I think so, right? It did it. All right, I'm just gonna be blindly, absolutely blindly guessing uh -huh. as to how much to shove in here. Seems like a lot. Yep, that's probably too much. Wow, there's a pool of it in there. I should probably start. Oh my gosh. Add more baking that's... soda. Baking soda, baking soda. Go, 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 go. So much for doing it in nice controlled layers. <laughs> <laughs> oh geez, oh geez. What's going on inside of there? I have no clue. We're not gonna know until it's done. Okay, I just gotta go full on with this. I gotta go a little crazy. Okay, I, I was thinking maybe less crazy than last time. Is it bubbling up? Oh, geez. Yeah. I'm not sure why you went more with the super glue. Well, that didn't go as planned. No. Do you want to top it off at all? It's like a little bit of... Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean like that, but sure. There you go. Well... What well, is what it is. There's like too much of one and too much of the other and too much... I specifically remember you saying, I'm just going to go crazy with this one. <laughs> Roll the clip. I probably didn't say that. I gotta go a little crazy. This flap right here, that's that's pretty glued glued together, unfortunately. Well, we might have to ruin the mold. I'm just gonna open up this spot right here. Okay. And inject a little bit more glue in. Is that a good idea? That's only a good idea if there's extra powder. It's definitely soft. There's a lot of loose powder, yeah. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, my hands. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I think I'm gonna have to extract it. This is painful. Oh no. I can't really tell what's going on, but it looks crumbly. Oh geez. Oh geez. That's interesting. It never got down to the bottom. This looks like a piece of gross cheese to me. I'm not sure if this is balanced. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's balanced. Pain. 
Oh god. That was a nice mold too. Oh wow. Ah. Oh jeez. I it's an abomination. You know, we wondered if we could, but we never really stopped to ask if we should. Maybe we should not have. It was then that Evan and Caitlin thought they might give up. But then they realized something. What if we just use the cube? The cube mold, it, it wasn't perfect, but it was a heck of a lot better than the complex one. This could be a dice. Yeah, yeah, I think let's give it. Guys, stick with us. Stick with us. One more try. I don't want to end on a fail. One more try. Let's try it one more time. How you feeling, That's baby? I, I, I really do feel like sometimes I'm learning, sometimes I'm going backwards. Ready? Yep. You know, I think the biggest thing about the last mold is we couldn't see the ratio of super glue to baking soda. Starting to smoke a bit. We should maybe slow down. It's actually harder. To see the difference on the white baking soda. Yeah, I'm like, am I doing too much or too little? So much love and care going into this final cube. Please, please work, cube. Final layer. Okay. No! Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, little cube. Don't do it. Don't let us down. Okay. A little separation. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that looks pretty clean. Wow. That looks pretty clean. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, we have hey. a cube. We have a pretty clean cube. Wow, it's a cube. Wow, and there aren't any voids, any like, there's no. That's pretty good. There's no, uh, baking. There's no baking soda pouring out of the pockets. Yeah. Oh. We could actually clean this up yeah. and turn it into dice. Let's start doing it. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I'm not gonna say I thought about giving up. We definitely thought about giving up. Guys. Look at that. Look at that. It's so cool. It actually turned out, it worked. It worked. It worked. You know, is it a balanced dice? We haven't tested we it. We haven't tested it, so we don't know, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my favorite thing are all of the layer lines. Me too, it kind here. of looks like it's made of a natural stone. It's like a salt. Oh yeah, like a well, yeah, salt rock. Yeah, yeah, like a salt rock. Yeah. But it's actually incredibly durable. When I was sanding it, it was so hard to sand. It's a very durable, strong material. Wow. <laughs> Shall we test throw it? Oh. Hey! It's a it dice. It works. It's a dice. We accomplish it. Good job, guys. Thanks for sticking with us. Uh, we appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Well, guys, it certainly has. Certainly. Well, guys, it certainly. Oh, oh, oh the giggles have started. <clears throat> Serious. Well, guys, this certain. <laughs> we are running out of CA glue and super glue, so I think it's about time. Did I say baking glue? <laughs> well, guys, it certainly. <laughs> Thanks again to Sensodyne Nourish for sponsoring this video. <gasps> 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 <gasps>